Hi, if you follow my blog or you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you've probably seen a video I posted recently where I showed you how to download and install the new font converter app that Brother have given us to use with our Scan & Cut machine or to use within Scan & Cut Canvas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put an information card on this video that you can follow the link to. Alternatively, if you are on my channel, go to the playlists and in the playlist choose the Scan & Cut Canvas playlist and you'll find the font converter video in there. Now this font converter allows us to use any fonts that are on our computer and convert them into cutting files to use either directly on the machine or to use within Scan & Cut Canvas. It doesn't allow us to install them as, as the fonts that are within Canvas. So these 20 fonts here, we can't install the fonts into here, but it just gives us a way of converting a font into a cutting file. But what you could do is make the font, the complete font, a cutting file, and then save it within Scan & Cut Canvas for future use. So what I'm gonna show you today is just a little quick exercise that you may want to do. I know we all tend to have lots of fonts on our computer, but if you're anything like me, you probably just use certain fonts more than others. You might have favorite fonts and you, you, know, you may want to use them within Scan & Cut Canvas or on your machine. And we've not had the ability to be able to do that previously. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the font converter and then basically this is it. And effectively what you get, you get this box here and this is where you can type your text or your font or the characters of the font that you want to use. But you can't do carriage returns on this, so you can't do a line and then something else underneath. But what I'm gonna show you today is just how to bring a complete font from here within to Canvas that you can then use in the future within a project. So what I'm going to do, I've got a font that I've downloaded onto my computer that's one of my favourite fonts that I tend to use quite a lot or have done in the past and it's called Black Rose. So I'm going to choose that and then in this box here I'm going to put the caps lock on my keyboard and I'm just going to type the complete alphabet. Okay, and because we can only type the characters within this box, and because when I save this and open this in Scan & Cut Canvas, it will bring it from the top left-hand corner here along in a row. I'm going to take the font size down to 36, because if I do it any bigger, I could probably more than likely get an error telling me that the font in the size I've chosen won't fit on the mat. So you can always resize them at a later date. So for now, I've got the blank, black rose font chosen. I've typed the alphabet in uppercase and I've done it in uh, size 36 and I'm going to say save. Now, just so I know where it is, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it upper for the process of this video. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so here's the file now. It's a, an FCM cutting file that I've just called upper. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight these and delete them. And I'm going to do exactly the same, but all in lowercase. And I'm going to leave it at 36 on the same font and say save. And then this time, I'm just going to call this one lower and put it on my desktop exactly the same. And there is that one. Now I'm gonna close the converter down. I'm already in Scan & Cut Canvas and I've opened up a blank page just to save some time. So I'm gonna to come to the SVG icon, which is the icon that lets me import several different types of cutting file. I'm gonna click on the word choose file, navigate to my desktop and choose the upper which I chose and I'm going to say okay. 
and that's put the font or the letters of the font here on my mat in the top left hand corner and as you can see what I mean it nearly came to the end of the mat so that's why I would would advise at this stage just using the smallest size you can always resize this later as you can probably see I'll try and zoom in for you each one of these letters has got a blue bounding box around it which means these are all individual letters okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to select them and I'm just going to right click and hit group and just move them down out of the way because I'm going to come back to this SVG icon and I'm going to bring in the lowercase letters and the lowercase letters will come in as individual letters again and they will drop in in this section so I'm just moving this set out of the way for now so I'm going to go back to choose file this time I'm going to choose lower and say OK. And again, now they've all dropped in, in lowercase as individual items. And just, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to group them. So I've now got the complete alphabet for black rows in both upper and lowercase. I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to call this file black rows. Font, although technically it's not a font, these are just cutting files. And I'm going to hit the save icon. Okay, so it's told me that's saved. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back as if I was just starting Canvas from the outset. And when I go to my projects, you'll see that that file is now in here so I can open this file and then if I want to make a project using the letters of this black rose all as I need to do now I'm just going to move them down out of the way so obviously I've grouped them you don't need to but that was just my pre my preference so I'm going to right click and ungroup and then if I wanted to say make the word smile I've got the capital S and then I'm going to do the same with the lowercase right click and ungroup just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to use M I L and E from the lowercase I'm going to select all the rest of the lowercase and hit delete on my keyboard and I'm going to select all the uppercase and hit delete on the keyboard. So I've now just got the letters that I want to use for this particular project. So I'm just going to bring them all up here and just rearrange them by eye for now. Then I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to align them all up by the bottom so that they kind of fall into place. And I'm going to try and zoom in so hopefully you can see them a bit better. Now, if I just wanted to cut this word, I'd just save this file, send it over Wi-Fi if you have that machine or put it on a USB stick and cut it. If I want to weld it, obviously there's an extra process we have to do, which I showed you in the previous video. So I'm going to select the S because this cutout here won't let me weld or when I weld it, that will disappear. If I don't do this process, I'm going to go to edit, subtract, doesn't look as though anything's happened. And I'm going to do the same on the E, edit, subtract. Now I'm going to just line these up Obviously, you can, you know, line them up as you wish. I'm just doing this for the process of the video. Select them all. I'm going to go to edit and weld them. And if I fill them with colour, you'll see that the little circle on the S and the middle of the E is a hole now. And that's what um, happens when you do the sub subtract and the word has welded together. The O won't because it wasn't touching anything but I can choose now 
to place it over there, over the eye. And if I want to weld it, I can just select everything and do weld and it will weld. So I'm going to zoom back out. As you can see, it's only small. Now from here, this is less than half an inch high. I could use the pen tool and write that word and put a fill in it or I could cut it. I wouldn't want to cut it this small, but if I wanted to make it bigger to use on the front of a card or on a scrapbook page, then I can resize it from here. Now what I'm going to do, because this was originally the cutting file with all the font, that's what the, the name of the file is. I'm going to highlight that and delete it. And this time I'm going to call this smile and I'm going to go to save. Now it's going to say to me, the project title's been changed, which it has. Do I want to overwrite the project or save it as, an, as another project? I want to save it as another project because if I don't, I'll basically have undone all the work I did in bringing the complete font in in the first place. So I'm going to choose save as another project. Now I'm going to come back to scan and cut to where all my projects are. I'm going to come to my projects and in here now I should have the black rose file with the complete font in and I've got the file that I've just made from the black rose font in the name of Smile. So that's just a way of being able to use your fonts that are on your computer within Scan and Cut Canvas. And if like me you have certain fonts that are favourites and you want to save some time, Follow this process, make a cutting file for each one of your fonts and then they're there within Canvas for when you want to use at any point in the future. Or you could just literally put this whole font onto a USB stick and send it over to your machine and then do exactly the same within the machine. Delete the letters that you don't want and make a project of the letters that you do want. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.